All right, welcome back everybody for uh, part five of the parallax occlusion mapping series. Last few videos have run really long, so I just wanted to show you something quick this time. And that is how to fix the stretching that you get on uh, parallax occlusion mapping. So you'll notice here that on the steep surfaces of um, parallax occlusion mapped uh, materials, you can have really atrocious stretching due to the fact that the texture is being projected from the top and meant to be viewed uh, accordingly. But once we've added depth, um, it can be viewed from the side and we get pretty terrible um, issues in some instances, especially where you have either very deep um, height ratios or uh, very steep angles. And so luckily uh, the node includes a world position output. So uh, we can actually use triplanar projection uh, or world aligned textures. So here I've just set up a quick world aligned texture node and thrown uh, in the pixel normals. So the pixel normals are being generated in this case by the height map since I didn't actually have a, a height map or excuse me, a normal map for this texture. Uh, but in any case, we have our uh, our normal map, which is uh, coming into our world aligned textures uh, through the pixel normals and allowing us to simply uh, run a triplanar projection instead of a standard projection. And now you can see that we have nice sharp details on the sides of our surface here. Whereas if we go back to this, it looks bad very bad and then here looks great. So uh, it's really pretty simple. If we go to unlit, um, we can see it even better or without distraction. Stretched and horrible. Perfect. All right. Um, so ultimately, make use of the world position node as needed. Uh, it can really enhance uh, the parallax occlusion mapping uh, in cases where your textures are ugly. Uh, so yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.